Okay, so moving on to the next, uh, my next compartment in here. Like I said, this is the compartment that um, has the, the items in here for a little bit more serious, uh, you know, wounds, some s more serious situations. Of course, the first thing I pull out isn't that. This is just a, actually a glow stick. Um, I just found it comes in handy, um, you know, in the dark. If, if you can't find your flashlight, lose your flashlight, something like that, you have immediate access to a uh, um, light source here. I, I typically carry a small flashlight as well. Um, I have it in my other gear. And, um, yeah. So, another bigger tube of. Uh, triple antibiotic that's just acetracin. Um, pair of exam gloves. Of course you want to keep yourself uh, protected and uh, protect the other person that you may be treating. I have uh, here just a ACE bandage. As you can see I've actually vacuum sealed this um, so that I you know obviously can condense it and make it more packable to fit in the kit. Um, you know it works great for spraying, strains, um, compressing a, a bandage to a, a more serious wound uh, to stop blood flow, that type of thing. Some uh, medical tape. Uh, this is not the cloth tape, this is the clear um, tape. I'm not, I can't recall off the top of my head what it's called. Um, but uh, I found this is a little bit more adherent um, and uh, just a little more functional for myself. Uh, now, I've got some uh, wound dressings in here, and these are just the sponges. These are just uh, two by twos um, for absorbing, you know, the initial blood flow of the wound. Not too serious. Um, I do carry. Now, don't laugh at me here, but uh, this is called my heavy bleeding sponge, and what this is is just a, uh, um, a feminine hygiene. Had. And uh, it obviously works excellent. It was designed to uh, absorb a lot of blood, and so you know this um, you know would work well for covering a, a more serious uh, bleeding wound. And then um, I have several um, several um, two by three non-adherent pads uh, for dressing the wound. Uh, you don't want to use the other. Uh, you know, gauze type sponges because the once the wound starts uh, coagulating and healing, they'll stick to it and cause a little bit of problems when you're trying to remove the dressing. And so, for the final dressing of the wound, I like to use the uh, non-adherent um, <coughs> dressings to that. And I've got several in here, and um, they're vacuum sealed, so I you know pack the most amount uh, in here. And um, last but not least, I have a razor blade. Which uh, I guess minor surgery. I don't know. That's kind of scary. But uh, you know, it works great for uh, you know getting a hard hard to reach splinter or uh, you know, whatever else. Um, now you'll probably notice that there's some items that you've probably seen in some other kits that I, I don't have in here. Um, you know, one being suture, you know, material things like that. And uh, I just find, you know, for a kit like this, that that's just uh, probably a little bit overboard. Um, you know, if the situation's that serious, there's measures you can take, um, you know, to assist the person, um, you know, and acquire help. So that's just that's just my experience, and, and it goes a little bit beyond uh, my, um, you know, comfort zone there in, in trying to stitch somebody up. So um, not advisable for me. I'd rather uh, try to stop the blood flow using uh, normal means, you know, compression, elevation, that type of thing. And then seek medical attention. So that's that's uh, me. Well, the last thing that I wanted to cover here was, or actually point out, was that although this is the uh, you know first aid kit, um, primary first aid kit, I, I do keep in uh, the rest of my gear other items that are useful for you know first aid purposes, as I'm sure you know other people do. Um, just an example, my essentials bag that is with me backpacking. Um, you know, it has uh, a lot of useful items for first aid in here. Um, a, you know, little razor sharp knife. Um, you know, rope. Um, you know, 
know, just uh, different items like that. Some, you know, of course, bug repellent, sunscreen, things like that. I personally believe prevention is always the first line, you know, um, you know, for everything. So if you can prevent it, you don't have to deal with it later. Um, so yeah, you know, like, like I said, backpacking, I have this to supplement my first aid kit. There's some useful items in here. Uh, my fishing bag is the same way. I have um, you know, a couple odds and ends uh, scattered through there. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, as you can see, my philosophy behind this whole first aid thing is pretty much the same as with my other uh, gear. I believe in systems and being able to, you know, um, have different means of tailoring your gear to the situations that you're going to be in. And like I said, that can be anything from, you know, my one to two person, um, you know, few day trip little kit here to a much more comprehensive um, approach, you know. Um, if I'm going to be, you know, out on the boat uh, where weight's not a, a, an issue or I'm going to be doing some car camping or if I'm going to be taking a, a big group of, uh, you know, kids on a, you know, a trip out to the woods or on a fishing trip, something like that, you know, I, there's no reason not to pack this along, you know, and uh, has a, a much wider range of capabilities. So that's my approach to pretty much everything is having a uh, versatile system, you know, that's uh, tailorable. So please feel free to leave me any comments. Let me know what you think I left out. Um, let me know what you think I could improve on or include. Um, definitely like to learn and, um, you know, uh, be better prepared myself. So that's kind of what this is all about. So anyway, thanks once again for watching and we'll see you next time.